Hi everyone, I'm Sketchy Ken and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my first YouTube video, so if you could like, comment and subscribe, I'd be really grateful. Today I'm just going to be showing you how to paint a pet portrait, watercolour edition. Uh, basically just a few tips and tricks and just talking through how I paint my pet portraits. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. I like to cover the entire portrait with a base colour, depending on what I'm painting. Um, only because if there are any light areas, I like those to be toned as well, so it just gives a bit more of an effect on the actual painting. I tend to always start with the fur, so I leave the nose and eyes blank and I come back to those a bit later. dry I like to go in with a slight detail in a darker tone just to sketch out where the areas are going to be that have shadow. With pet portraits in particular this tends to be around the eyes and the mouth and depending on how long the fur is sometimes under the chin and on the ears. I like to go around the shadowed areas again with a darker tone of the base coat. This is just to build up layers. This part of the process will be wet paint on dry, so what I like to do is just take a plain brush, dab it in a bit of water and make sure that it's all blended in with the base coat. Like to repeat that same process so taking the original base coat color and just creating layers i also like to add smaller details as i go along for example there's curly fur on the ears here so i just like to add little flicks just to insinuate that those parts are going to be curled <laughs> and the eyes where the dark shadows are going to be, I like to go in with a light grey just to create emphasis and depth. This is where you'll really start to see your portrait come to life. Once I feel I've put enough emphasis on the shadows, I then like to go in with a small fine brush and just add details of the fur. So I basically just flick the brush in any direction that I feel the fur is going in the reference image. Um, yeah, and then from here just go back in with layers again, just keep repeating that process. Thank you. 
this point that my camera died and I didn't realize, so all I've done is just gone in with detail on the tongue and the eyes. The eyes have just drawn two basic brown circles with just a single color, just to outline where the iris goes. And with the tongue, I just like to create a kind of gradient from like a gray to a pink, just so it shows where the darkness is in the back of the mouth. With the nose, I just like to go in with different gradients of black, so letting it dry, going back over it, using a wet brush then to blend it all out. Um, I let these layers dry and then move on to other layers so I can kind of work simultaneously. I've just gone in with a black brush to outline the pupils. I like to do these a lot bigger than in the reference image as I tend to give my portraits more of a cartoon eye. Um, you'll see that at the end. And again, just back over, layering up the nose, going in with a really dark black for the nostrils. And then I go in with a black around the mouth area and where the shadows are. This is actually my favourite part of the whole painting, so I take an acrylic white and I take the end of my paintbrush, I just dab it in the lid just to get a little bit of the white on there and put two small dots, one larger one and one smaller one, into the pupils um, of the portrait. I just think it gives it a really nice effect. It's quite cartoony, but I just think it gives the image a little bit of character. <laughs> with lighter colour portraits um, but I just go around with a black pen just to emphasise those areas again mainly just to outline the shadow as I don't like to go into too much detail with the paint it can tend to look a little bit messy but yeah this is the final product I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I hope it inspires you to go paint something just to finalise, I like to put my initials on the bottom of the painting and just go around with a rubber just to make sure all those pencil marks from the original sketch are not visible. And then all that's left to do is just package it ready for posting. So yeah, that's the end of my first YouTube video. Um, thanks if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. If you could like, comment and subscribe, I'd be really grateful.